We use the phrase silver lining a lot these days. That's because there's been a lot of bad stuff from which people are finding those glimmers of light, those reasons to smile and post photos like this one. Today was great. I think the morale of our staff is really high today because it kind of felt like old times before the pandemic. That's Claire Stager, program director of Urban Gleaners, a nonprofit that collects leftover food from restaurants and grocers, then provides it to families in need across the Portland metro area. We're a small but mighty team. We've got our vans backed up here. On Thursday, they got a phone call from the Moda Center, which in years past has donated a lot of food. Same with catering companies after hosting big events. Naturally, the last year, we haven't received any of those sorts of phone calls. But this week, two Blazers home games were postponed. As the Moda Center shared on Twitter, a lot of food for staff and media would have gone to waste. So they called Urban Gleaners, which gladly accepted the hundreds of sandwiches and salads. It felt really good. Our staff was really happy. They actually came to drop it off, which is angel-like of them to do that. Since our staff's resources are limited. And in these crates here we have like the sandwiches that they donated today. Donations from the Moda Center will help fill food boxes. Really amazing variety of food. And Urban Gleaners will deliver the boxes to local schools where families can pick them up. In 2019, the nonprofit moved over 1.2 million pounds of food. Nationally, the average worth of donated food is around $3 a pound. The food Urban Gleaners collects is worth around $10 a pound. That's really high quality food and people are really, really grateful to be receiving that. Lately, a lot of the best food they've received has come from restaurants that have had to close because of the pandemic. It's been a really emotional year for, for us and all of our friends on the other side that are donating food. Um, a lot of last minute phone calls saying, you know, we just can't keep our doors open one more day. Um, and that's really, really hard. That's why they'll never take these silver linings for granted knowing the hardship and sacrifice that made them shine. They'll just keep helping others through their own dark times. Feels pretty good. Catherine Cook, KGW News.